guys, welcome to today's video. This video is going to be about unboxing the April Spring Thing Fat Pack. So as you can see, I still haven't found my YouTube shirt and I guess it's just a lost cause at this point. So I guess I just have to move on. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The April Spring Thing Fat Bag looks something like this, like the one I received looks like this. Now I think they have another two or three variants when it comes to how the bag looks. And I personally really like this bag because um, here and there when I have ordered a fat bag, the bag turns out to be something which I can't use everywhere. I mean that's probably not the point of giving the bag but then I like to think of it as that. And this one I feel because at least I got like a sort of denim greyish touch to it, I can use it around which I'm happy about. So, in the fab bag, we were told that we will be giving a surprise sugar product. So now if you have a 3, 6 or 12 month subscription, you get a choice to pick the sugar product amongst like an option, like options of like 5 or 6 sugar products. So I really wanted like the lip crayon or the liquid matte lipstick and it happens that I got uh, the matte as hell lip crayon in the shade Holly Golightly. Now this is significant to me because the first fab bag I ever bought also was um, with the Hollywood Lightly lipstick, like the lip crayon. So this is when I had gone to the fab bag office like three and a half years ago or so. And uh, I tried Scarlett O'Hara but then I was like I want something that I can use regularly and at this point I wasn't like confident enough to use bold colours regularly so I ended up getting this one. And I remember falling in love with it. That was the first time I used sugar products. And yeah, I guess that was the start of like a sugar journey, I guess. So yeah, I mean, I just feel like this came a full circle because the lip crayon was pretty much over. And here I am with the same one as a replacement. So to talk about how this is, um, like I feel like all the matte as lip crayons by sugar are like this creamy matte which is like not heavy on your lips it's not dry either and personally it's one of my favorites when it comes to matte uh, lip crayons or lipsticks the next thing that i got was this uh, polystop hair um, it's like a hair mist or hair spray by chrono care and um, so the first thing i did was check if it's uh, curly girl friendly on is it cg.com and uh, as it turns out, it kind of is like there's a lot of ingredients that like um, have no like caution to it where it's like you know you don't know if it is safe or not but like it's not unsafe so maybe you can use it sort of thing. And so yeah I'm quite pleased because at least it doesn't have like sulfates or silicones that I cannot use and like will dry my hair. So yeah I look forward to using it and I might post the review of the same on my Instagram so you should follow me there. So after the sugar products, um, the other thing that I actually got this bag, like this month's bag for was this. It's the Organic Harvest 30 Minute Makeover Facial Kit and uh, the thing is well if you check my insta, like, I'm this big fan of this anti-tan face bag that I bought from like Organic Harvest because it's brilliant, it works wonders. So I was really looking forward to using this and this like, my back came yesterday and I've already tried it because I just like the brand at this point. So what I can say is I like the anti-tan back better and this is the diamond shine and glow um, facial kit and uh, well I wouldn't know how effective it is but yeah it's surely cleans cleansing because like there's a cleansing milk and then you can sort of like when you wipe with a cotton can see the dust that comes off and but I just feel like you know you can always like get a separate cleansing milk and a scrub maybe a face pack and that's done but yeah I do understand the point if you just want to use it once this is quite convenient also this costs like 295 bucks oh yeah and the sugar one cost sugar lipstick costs you um, $7.99 I guess or so it was when I last got it and yeah like um, this I feel like it cleanses and glow yeah to some extent but I don't know how sure I would be of that. Nevertheless if, like if it's a one time thing where I have to go get it I would go get it and honestly it was uh, quite effective for me because I paid 6 So uh, 
uh, this facial kit inside has like six packs. You start with like the cleansing milk, then there's like the face scrub, the massage cream, and uh, the face pack, serum, and sunscreen. So the cleansing milk smells amazing. It's also quite effective. But I just feel like um, after like maybe the cleansing milk and scrub, your skin sort of feels a little sensitive. Like after scrubbing a lot of times I feel like a redness develop on my cheeks so that's I think like a general thing and it does not apply to just this brand but yeah that's the thing. Also the scrub looks really nice it's like I don't know it's like some mermaid lather sort of thing where it's blue like it's this aqua blue sort of thing and the scrubbing is also like really effective like the grains in it are just right. I'm not the biggest fan of the face pack but that can also be because uh, it comes across as like a very cream sort of consistency and not a very face pack like so I'm not really sure how much I like it. The serum and the sunscreen I haven't used because in the serum it said the contents had gold dust and I didn't really intend to like go out looking like some pixie fairy so I didn't really try it. As for the sunscreen, I tried the facial at night so I didn't really use it which I intend to in the coming days although I think the sunscreen is like SPF 30 but from what I know sunscreens are usually supposed to be SPF 50 and above so that they're good for you and they're actually protecting you so that is that but I will do my fact check again. Uh, the next thing I got was this uh, nail colour by Inara in the shade Pulse and I like the quantity. It so happens that I have a lot of red shades in like lipsticks and uh, nail polishes and like I've put it on my nails right now but then I am not really a fan of how it is like the consistency I feel like it's sort of a bit thick for easy settling on the nails and it takes a while to dry which I'm not a fan of. But yeah, just as something I would add to my collection because I have a lot of nail polishes, it's okay, just not something I would go for on my own. But since, like I said, it was, well, quite cheap, 5.99, I'm getting 5 products, and I mean, it's pretty good. The last thing that I have here is uh, these instant nail polish removal wipes by Hip Hop Skincare. And these are two wipes, which is just for sampling, it's not a full size product. So I haven't really used it but uh, from what I know the reviews are quite good for this and uh, I do look forward to using it. It's just that the last time I used nail polish remover wipes, they weren't really that effective or great. Although people say these are so I'm gonna have to try them before I judge it. So yeah. So lastly there's all these things that I got inside my April fat pack. This one is a renewal uh, offer thing uh, where I can get 10% off if I book like a 3, 6 or like I don't know, 12 month subscription before the end of May. Then I have a discount coupon from Organic Harvest which I intend to use because I've been wanting to get that anti-tan scrub uh, after using the anti-tan pack because it was so good. So yeah, I intend to use this 15% uh, off code. Then uh, this one is uh, well asking us to participate in the In My Fat Pack contest and uh, well if you win you get a uh, city colour B matte lipstick in the shade Lula and uh, they are going to be picking 10 winners so there is that. And maybe I should have started with this where they are like sort of uh, telling me that what the products are and they have printed this with my name right which I am like extremely proud of and I feel like they need this back personally for me because of just this and it just makes me happy I guess. So yeah that's all the things that came in my April Spring Thing fan bag and um, I would personally recommend people to buy it while the stocks last because I feel like even the bag is sort of worth it if not the products. Uh, that's it for the video guys. If you like it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, do share and subscribe because it really does help and yeah, thank you.